Squid Games. Oh my gosh, has the, the taken the world by storm and just pure good ideas. I just came back from LA and Hollywood where I just saw Netflix is really have their building in Hollywood. And I love Netflix because the stories are original. Although it's a lot of them, they have a lot of original content. But some of the stuff, majority of the stuff, is really good. No matter race, no matter, you know, what type of hurdles that somebody may have to climb. We all started watching movies or TV shows like Narcos that's completely in Spanish, but you have subtitles. You know, Squid Games came out total Korean, but you still have the voiceover and the subtitles. Man, gripping. Bit of a slow burn when you first start, but when he got into them games, you like, what? The? Like, red light, green light really captivated it because you just did not see that coming. Everybody was talking about Squid Games, but nobody could really tell you what was going on until you saw red light, green light. You were like, oh my gosh. That many people got killed, and you seen alliances being made, you know, with the old boy, the, the, the viper on his face, the crazy-ass lady, you know. Then you had the lady who, uh, Gion, like the lady who, who got Gion in, and the old man. You had the, uh, the Indian guy. Then you had the smart guy from, you know, that Gion is like, you know, he's from Seoul. He went to Seoul University. You smart guy. You know, like he been he he grew up with him. He knew him. So you see these characters and how it's played out. I love this. I truly loved it. I tell myself, you know, this is one of the original, original scripts. I've seen that in Hollywood that they've been shopping this movie for like 10 years. 10 years trying to make this movie. And Netflix was like, Ugh. Come on, got a budget for you. And you see how captivating it is. Like Hollywood is so obsessed with reboots and trying to revamp this and revamp that when it's like you got original content just lurking around Hollywood. Act on it, you'll be okay. You know, and seeing this, I'm like, whoa, different, different, different. I loved every bit of it because your anxiety was through the roof. Um, when apart from the red light, green light, you know, like I said, you had, I had anxiety from having to make the cookies. You got to stay in the line. If not, somebody is right there. Boom. Ready, ready, ready off. And it's very graphic. I loved it. I'm like, I'm not going to love it. Like America's portrayal that we want to watch violence is, is only increasing. It's only growing. And this is something that was very violent. It was in your face. Um, it was a whole bunch of stuff going on, you know, and that's why I was telling myself, but you see the survival of the fittest and you have to be in that mode. The the smart guy from Seoul University, he's been in it ever since. I just was so hurt that the Indian guy, he he really, when they played marbles, he tricked them and was like, I got him fair and square, he got to go. That hurt me because I was like, damn, dude, you didn't really give a guy a fair chance because he's trusting in you. But at the same time, it's only supposed to be one person with all this money. So what else you think was going to happen type of thing. So totally get it. But it's just very, very sad how, you know, the human element gets gets wiped away once you start seeing so much death. And I looked at it like once the majority have voted out, everybody came back. That was crazy to me. The majority voted out and everybody came back willingly on their own and the old guy i was telling myself the old guy i'm like man you you too old to be but he was like i want to play you know i got a brain tumor i just want to play i'm just trying to make some money for my family you know telling myself i was like okay but it's and i knew guillaume's like i might have to you know pick this old guy and, and he really picked him and, and and you know it was just a lot of decisions made as a human that you've seen in guillaume like man he's trying to be noble he's trying to understand the games and trying to make sure that we're okay because like i said the guy with the viper on his face you know tough guy bully the crime crime world you know he's doing it his way especially when they rioted where in their sleeping quarters like they just started doing a riot and started killing people it's like 
You know, it was it was made up of man, I don't care, we're here to die anyway, that type of that type of feel. But understanding the games and I was like, man, as easy as it sounds, it's you know, whatever happens, you're gonna die. And the tug of war was bar bar none one of the best games because like I said, you had to have an actual strategy. I remember the doctor who was selling the parts from the dead bodies and stuff was like, man, I need some strong guys. I know what the next game is. You know, like, let's let's see if we can work. And I just loved it. Even with Gian and the old man, I, was like, I used to play tug of war when I was a kid. This is what you got to do. That old guy was really helping them the whole time. Helping them. This is what you got to do. Do it like this, you're going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? So I sit there and tell myself, this was dope. But when it got to the uh, tapping on the glass, I was like, yeah, y'all going to die for sure. Like, and it was just crazy how that crazy ass woman who, you know, has just been crazy since the get go and started messing with that guy with the viper on the face. And he was like, man, get away from me. You know, are you crazy? Leave me alone. She got him back at the end. And I was like, that's poetic justice. And she even said it like, you know, I told you not to betray me. This is what's going to happen to you. Because I was wondering when that guy was going to die. You know what I'm saying? You know he ain't going to last long because he's a greasy, grimy dude. You know he ain't going to last long. But I was wondering when he goes. And I just loved it. It was it made me laugh, though. I'm not going to lie. It was so messed up that, you know, he only had a couple of minutes left. And the guy who was actually like a glass dude, like trying to figure out which one was a tempered glass, which one was a sturdy glass. And then at the end, you know, the time is ticking. That dude just pushed him and he fell through. And I was kind of like, bro, that's so messed up. But at the same time, it's survival of the fittest. And Guillain ends up winning because, you know, old boy's like, man, somebody has to go take care of my mom, stab in the neck. Um, and Guillain was pretty much tasked with the girl and, you know, the, the, the guy from Seoul University. Like, man, take care of my family, please. Like, please. And when Guillain got out, didn't. He was so heartbroken. He lost it. You know, he got to see his mom. His mom died. Ever since then, he was like, it was it was all for nothing, basically. Like, it was all for nothing. Don't want to do any of this. So he just was walking around, didn't even spend the money. He had all this money, didn't didn't care. Like, he just was like, I'm going to just drink and just be a bum. And turns out, you know, it's it's he sees the old guy. Tell him, and the old guy finds out the old guy is the host. He's the owner because the guy in the black mask, when you know his brother was a cop looking for him, I, was, I I'm so upset that you know he the cop ended up you know having a fate where he gets gets shot and killed from his brother. Finding out that it, it is his brother that he was looking for, and, and by the way, that dude had a lot of cell service. I was like, dude, you didn't charge your phone that one time, and I'm like, and you just climbing up these like mountains and finding cell service. I'm like, I don't want that type of phone. But, you know, jumping back to the old guy, like finding out that he is the actual owner of the games and talking to Guyan about, you know, why I did this? Why is it like that? Like, it's, you know, trying to find that empathy in humans because he's like, it's no, it's none left. So, you know, and that gave, that gave Guyan purpose. He started fixing himself up. He's like, I'm gonna go see my daughter in LA. You know, I'm gonna just go, I'm gonna go and help out you know, old boy's uh, mom. I'm gonna I'm go get old girl's uh, little brother out of orphanage and put him together. Gave him a whole bunch of money. He's like, man, here you go. It's the money I owe. Keep it going. Gave him a, a suitcase full of money. Then go sees on the way to go see his daughter. He just calls that calls that number and was like, how could y'all do this? I still need answers. That man goes back. That man was like, I want to go back in because he wants answers. So, season two, Squid Games, I'm here for it. 10 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I binge watched it. It took about a week, but I was telling myself I was really three, four episodes a day on it. Like, it, man, man, grab it, grab it, man. It, it, it grabbed you. Like, I loved it. I really loved it. I don't know if season two is going to be as good as season one. Let's hope. So, you guys enjoyed my review of Squid Games. Subscribe to my channel. Post a comment down below, like the video, it's your boy, D. Dyson.